So what I do is I try to better myself and I request the Muslim sisters also can be brought up special in terms of it. Otherwise, create a man and woman state that they can practice. Of course, but the choice comes consequences. So if you are not allowed, you will have gender. And if I do not allow, I will go to You know this video, can you not post it? Yeah. We're filming a speaker's corner. Sorry? Everybody is filming a speaker's corner. Do you, you know, are you Muslim? You don't wear hijab. Yeah. You know why women wear hijab? Yeah. Why? To because they hair. It's, it's nur. They don't want the evil eye and they don't want. Masha. Masha. But you know, Mohammed would say that women who don't wear hijab. Sorry. They like. Can they like. They like. One like, second. Like, are you going to post this? Is this live streaming or anything? It's not live streaming. Are you gonna post it? It's not showing your face. Okay. okay. I don't want my. Face. I don't want my face or anything of me. Or yeah. Do you do you know that women who don't wear hijab they're like sex slaves? That's what Muhammad said. He did. No, no, no. This is what the hadith says. No, I think it's lost in translation. The hadith is in Arabic. You don't speak Arabic, so you don't know. But then your God is only for Arab people, and you're not Arab yourself, or are you? I am. You, look, you don't look Arabic. Well, if, so you look Pakistani. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. The thing is... The thing is the, Excuse me. It's not just for us. Excuse me. No, that's why that's why your God cannot translate. That's why your God cannot translate. I can show you sir, but why can't you let a woman speak? Because because I can show you my husband got the information. I can show you that women who don't wear hijab Muhammad would call you sex slaves. That's what Muhammad said about you. No, I'm quoting what Muhammad said. Okay, Why do you follow Muhammad? But it says, hello, it says women curse for not giving sex. Hadith, okay. This is a list of hadith. Do you want to go through the one which you want to No, no, when are you going to start dressing modestly? When are you going to start dressing modestly? I'm dressed modestly. No, so you're showing your body. No, lower your gaze. And also, no, no women who don't wear is women who don't wear hijab, they uh, I know it's your choice, but I'm just saying Muhammad would call you a sex slave, not me. So, so for me, for me, I wouldn't follow a man who would say that you have to be okay that's I have I agree and also do you know why women wear burqa why you were you were in Saudi Arabia not in here oh you're from Dubai you know I'm telling you why do you wear it then because I can tell you the story I like I've seen this message yeah I I agree, you're modest. Where's I agree, cup, you don't have to even put a burqa about the Where's story the behind Where's the burqa is the to do with Muhammad's wife, Sauda. Sauda was his wife that he didn't like. Was like. She, was, was like. she was his fat, <laughs> ugly wife. Basically, she went to the toilet. No, no, he had 11 wives and unlimited concubines. He said a lot in his life. He had, uh, no, Sada, you didn't know, but he had 11 wives and unlimited concubines. But Mohammed's wife, Sada, which you don't know, she went to the toilet and a man, Mohammed's friend, he saw her and she she was having a poo poo. And he, this is what the story says. Okay. I don't want to talk about this. We don't talk about this. But this is what, I know. Okay, that's fine. But this is why women wear burqa. It's because Mohammed's friend got turned on from her going to the toilet. And this is why, for me, it's ridiculous that a woman should cover up, not get sana because of Mohammed's friend so do getting turned on from wearing a burqa. Do you want women to, uh, women No, I say that these clean? women, do you want women to I'm not saying to show cleavage, I'm saying, I'm saying that, you know, you don't have to cover yourself up. I'm Muslim, I'm not covering myself. It's a choice. Yeah, but I'm saying, you, and I think you're doing a good thing. You, you covered up. No, it's not. It's not. No, no, no. Like I'm not trying to promote not wearing it. So you want them to dress like you? I'm saying that hijab and a buyer or car is a form of modesty. It's to protect women, and it does. Because men ask that women everywhere. But it's not your fault because the Quran says to 
lower their gaze. So when a woman, for example, in extreme scenario, she covers her face, this is dehumanizing. Why is it dehumanizing? Because it's removing her identity as a woman. The, according to every person, because you have to look health physically. If it was healthy for women, for example, to cover herself, they wouldn't have deficiency. They've done studies on Muslim women who wear a covering and they don't have sunlight. Imagine a plant with no sun. It's the same thing. They, it's something you can breathe through. It's not. It's but not there is the sunlight doesn't go through, and a woman you can't even see her face. You know, it's it's removing her humanity. Women, women come way before men. Men are told to lower their gaze before women are told to cover themselves. Do you get yeah. it? It's a two-way thing. It is a two-way thing, but the men don't have to cover their faces. You see the difference. I even no, see men. Men they they're encouraged to grow beards, but that's yeah. also by children. But I see I see many Arab men here who come here. There are many Arabs like you. Okay, sorry, I said you're Pakistani or Dubai. Sorry, uh, but I see many Arabs. They come here in the summer because it's too hot in in your countries, and the men wear shorts, and then the mom or wife she's wearing a burqa. So then the men should wear a burqa. The men should wear a burqa as well. No. Yeah, but it should cover his face as well. If you say woman should, because it shouldn't just be that because it's dehumanizing. I'm saying it's dehumanizing. Men and women should have total equality. They should be totally equal in Christ. Well, I believe that if Allah wanted women to cover their faces, then he wouldn't make it in a way that it will make it bad for their health to cover their faces. Because they, imagine, I give you, I, I'm using my phone, but I give you the example of a plant. Imagine a plant with no sunlight, it will die, it will be deprived. So just like we are and we're humans, we need the sun, we need water, we need food. Huh? In the house? Yeah. But there is no sunlight in the house. There is no sun like the outdoors. It's like a prison. So I say to you, you do the right thing not to be out and be free, and you address modesty. Uh, but I say, Muhammad, like I said, going back to the first point, he called women like you sex slaves, okay? And because he called women, yes, women. There was there is a hadith, right? I'm using my phone. I can't show you. You can't make your point without having a solid piece of evidence. And you're trying to make it. The hadith, the hadith the, 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 is a solid evidence. It's not solid evidence because you have one translated hadith. And you didn't translate it. So there was a story. There was a story of Muhammad getting a woman, you know, and she he would bring her out. And they said to her, is she a mother of believer or sex slaves? And he, and he said, is she wearing... Wait, I'm sorry. Let me end the story. You know, they're modest. Uh, they're modest. Wait, one minute. You know, in Christian, Christianity, women have a Christian baby. It's exactly like a hijab. It's exactly like a hijab. But it's a different, it's a different context. For example, if a woman, the Bible says, first of all, that his customary is not obligatory. So it says, you know, a woman can have a hijab and pray in the church and prophesy, but not to put her. is why I'm following Muhammad. If he would call you a sex slave. respect my decision. Okay, bring I respect your decision. Okay, so why are you asking me more Because it's because God, I, I was asking your friend. I wasn't asking, you said you didn't want to talk, so I was engaging with her, to be honest with you. Women are not allowed to teach. But in the context, the context, the context, the Bible says the hair, the womb, the hair of a woman is their covering. But the most important thing I tell you, Jesus says you must be born again. Forget the hair, the covering. You know, the women who wear face covering in the Bible they're prostitutes by the way but forget this the Bible says you must be born again you're spiritually dead you need to receive the spirit of God because I have to tell you the, the most important thing before we end is that you must be okay the women in the, in the where Burka, they're prostitutes in the Bible so if we go to an extreme we, women were in Burka according to ancient times they're prostitutes yes Ancient times. The times of the Bible that precedes the Quran. Is that more ancient times or more than the Bible come to a specific area? The Bible, the time of Jesus in Israel, in Israel, but your Quran confirms the Bible. 
the your Quran confirms the Bible. Yeah, but your Quran confirms the Bible. So the Bible says you must be born again. That's a, you know that's why I wanted to leave them with this because they're going and I want to say Jesus loves you. He wants to have a relationship with you, and you must be born again. That's all because your deeds will not save you. Your your good deeds. You know if you pray five times a day, even if you cover up, you will not please God. Only if you are born again. You sound exasperated. Because I'm tired. And this is, you keep changing from one topic to another. You because you know, because you got what, tired what, of this topic. I didn't yeah, want to. It, it doesn't get you sent to heaven talking about hijab. Before you, if you love Jesus, then call. What is your main argument? Like, Look, I came here because this is speaker's corner, you know. And and I I asked you. You seem Muslim, and I asked you about hijab. But at the same time. The, the point is, I want you to be born again. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here to convert you. I'm here because you need to be born again. You need to be receive the Holy Spirit um, because you're spiritually dead. You know, you're you're born in your. Yeah. If you love Jesus, Jesus says you must be born again. Why are you trying to teach because I'm not in a church and they're not man so and you are heretic. It does. Okay. It does. It does. If you love Jesus, you become Muslim. If you love Jesus, then call God the Father. But a prostitute covered her face in the, in the Bible. The prostitute and also is the, I'm not saying you are. I'm telling you what the Bible says. You don't care what the Bible says. I'm just, look, I, I the Bible, I follow the Quran. So if you follow the Quran, but you follow the Sunnah as well, not just the Quran, you follow, you're a Sunni Muslim. So that's why I said to you, then you have to follow what Muhammad says, that you, uh, a sex slave, would have no hijab. Where did he say that's that? why. No, bring the Hadith and bring us the Arabic, because you're translating to sex slave. I need to see the Arabic. It was a Muslim that translated it. It was a Muslim, okay, show us yeah. which Muslim. Okay. Are you gonna Are you gonna wait a minute for me to find it? Are you gonna wait a minute for me to find it? Okay. Okay. Are you speak Arabic? Yeah, but I don't know how to read Arabic. What do you mean you don't know how to read Arabic? What language do you speak? I speak Arabic, but you can't read Arabic. I can read Arabic. Yeah. So what, what are you looking for? A yeah, let me find it. Yeah. Hold this one minute. You're just looking uh, for any old and then I will it. No, no, no. Like, give it. Hold this one minute. Okay. <laughs> So I just want to remind people to subscribe to Apologetics London. Subscribe to Apologetics London. Yeah, Johnny, leave it. We're not here to promote the channel. <laughs> Are you subscribed? Yeah, no, 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 no. You got to subscribe. Subscribe. Bro. Yeah. You're going to post it. Yeah. But you're posting it without my consent. I can post it. I can. But always subscribe. Always subscribe. But I, I wasn't filming your face. I wasn't. No, if, a, if, it, if my face is in there, if any three of our faces in there, please yeah. blur it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold this one minute, Johnny. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Johnny. <laughs> Even the dumb Arab that translated it, so it doesn't really matter. How do you know that? What's the earliest manuscript of the Bible? I'm, I'm, I'm dropping it. Do you know the earliest manuscript of the Bible? I'm filming the floor. Okay, let me do this. The thing is, you asked me, I don't want to change topic because, you know, okay. um, so I have here two hadiths. One that you didn't like because it made you, it was disgusting. Oh, it's my hadith. You don't film their faces. I'm not filming their faces. Don't, not the floor, just film here, but not the floor. Okay, okay. I'm not okay. filming anybody's face. Okay. Okay. okay, one of them you didn't like, it was about Sauda. Okay, the one that you know 
she went to the toilet and Mohammed's friend got turned on and then the last on the book had came, but you didn't like this one. You asked me about Mohammed calling you and me sex slaves, right? So in here, I really need English and you read in Arabic. I didn't know your teeth were silver, but the way. Sorry, it's a bit shocking. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wives of the prophet used to go to Almasa, a vast open place, to answer the call of nature at night. Uma used to say to the prophet, um, no, this is the same one, sorry, this one here, sorry. Okay, this one, this one, sorry, it's my bad. Um, okay, this one. This one, sorry. The prophet said between Kaliba and Abadina for two days when he consummated his marriage to Safiya bin Huyad. I invited him with it to Omni, which was no bread and meat. He commanded them to let the cloth be swollen days, spotted cheese, and ghee were placed in it, and the words these women. The Muslims said, Who should be one of the mother of the believers or a female slave which, with that your right hand possesses? This says, If he has a, a hijab for her, then she will be one of the mother of believers, and if she does not have a hijab, Job, then she will be a female slave. Is that right? Yes, I know this. Right. So, so when he finished, when he wrote on it, he set a plate for her behind him and accepted the job between her and the people. So that means, you know, so where, no, 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 no. Job, you might not believe us. Wait, 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 wait. Where in the hadith does say sex? Who said sex? Right hand possesses. Is that what does that mean? Is that sex slave? Is that sex slave? Yeah. Show me where does it say sex slave. You read the whole hadith. Oh, yeah, wait, it would be a character. Where did it say sex slave? Which one your right hand is that? And a sex slave are not the same. They're the same thing. Are they? Yeah, because. Why, why are they the same thing? Because, why, why is there a waiting period okay. for the marriage? Where does it say. No, no, sex? why is there a marriage? Why is there a waiting period for the marriage? No, 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 where does it say what, sex? Show me where it says sex. So, in what sense? Right, in what sex? Yeah. So, the, the sex slave is because Muhammad and his companions were allowed to have sex with the female captives. So, even if you want to forget the word sex slaves, in here, you are a slave. Even if you want to make an argument, in here you are a slave, according to Muhammad. So I said to you, why do you follow a man that if you don't wear hijab because you're a slave? That was my point of conversation. But the most important thing that I said to you is you must be born again because this argument is not going to get you to heaven. But the gospel is that you need to receive the Holy Spirit okay, you're giving and be advice. saved. I take your advice and I. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Of course. You still haven't told me where it says sex What I said to the lady oh, is that, yes. you know, is there are many hadiths that show that what your right hand possesses is a sex slave, but even, even, even if, if we don't take out sex slave in this context, she's still considered a slave. She still, it does matter. She says she will take one hand and leave it. But your claim was sex slave, not just slave. Because so there are many had hadiths where he's talking about Muhammad and his companions having sex with the, what the right hand possesses. So you bring those hadith, your arguments are invalid. It's not invalid because she agreed with me, you know, and you have to agree with me that a female slave I didn't she's a anything. Okay, but in here you you have to agree that a female slave is somebody without hijab. That's what it says in here. Yeah, but who knows where you got that? Uh, this is one of the hadith. Hey, hey, Saraj, give me five. So wait, three spots, Saraj, let's go. Oh, why she's not covered? Yeah. The Bible says you have to cover. The Bible says you cover during yes, the praying of prophecy. You have to cover. Why you don't know not, what the Bible says. Why men says are not covered, but women are asked to be covered. What's going on? The Bible doesn't say sexist. women are supposed to be covered. That's sexist. No, so, so why do we talk about... Why the, the Bible what's going on, Johnny? Johnny. Johnny, let's leave it. Johnny, let's go. She doesn't want my advice. Johnny, Johnny, she doesn't want my advice. Johnny, now we leave. She yeah, yeah, said no she, I gave her the gospel. It's just like trying to come off you. No, it's fine. Okay, God bless you. Yeah, I've got to go now. Look, are you here next week? No, I'm in Manchester. Oh, fair enough. Whenever you're next week, I'll come to you. No, it's not filming. You're still filming. No, he is filming, but you can watch him on the road. And don't go. So is that?